Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's hump day. Woo woo! I am struck by the dissimilarity between two things. The first thing, to contrast against the second thing, is going to be a video put out by Leonard French, Lawful Masses. It's a First Amendment video. He doesn't normally cover First Amendment issues. He normally deals with trademark things, but I thought it was a wonderful uh, segment that he did. He basically just read a complaint and he discussed some of the facts surrounding the complaint. The complaint was for Amy Calhoun or Cohoon, not sure which. She was diagnosed with some sort of an upper respiratory infection. The The doctors didn't know if it was or if it wasn't COVID-19. So they they didn't know they didn't know what to do. Like they didn't they they couldn't say specifically she had it or she didn't have it because apparently the test only works for a certain period of time and if you've had it too long it doesn't work anymore or something. I don't know. I'm not a doctor and I don't even play one on TV. But anyway, the doctor said to act as if you have it. Just 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 assume that you have it because the symptoms are right for it and we can't rule it out. So she posted up a couple of uh, of pictures on Instagram, I think it was, one of those social media sites. And uh, background is she's in high school and she had just come back from like a, a band camp thing or a band thing. So she'd been on a bus with a bunch of other students and so the... The school was apparently concerned about it um, and they called her a liar and they said she was full of hooey and they got the sheriff to send somebody out there and the somebody they sent out there was a sergeant who should have known better uh, but the sergeant said essentially to the dad either you have your daughter take that down or I'm gonna start arresting and hauling people away for disorderly conduct starting with you and ending up with your daughter the dad said, essentially, she could do whatever the hell she wants, but I'm going to let her talk to you. And he brought out the daughter, and he told the daughter she didn't have to take it down if she didn't want to. But the uh, the officer, the sergeant, the sheriff's sergeant, scared the shit out of her. So she took her posts down. And that's, and that's some fucking bullshit. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little upset over it. Because uh, I don't like freedom of speech real freedom of speech being trampled by real bullies and real tyrants. So, long story short, she got an attorney and she's suing. Now, she's not suing like like the uh, auditors sue, where they do it all secret and covert, and they try to get a settlement, and then they'll brag quietly to their friends about the settlement. No. On this one... Her attorney, first thing he did is he sent a letter, basically a, a settlement offer to the, to the sheriff, asking the sheriff to, number one, admit that what the sheriff did was wrong, and number two, saying that the sheriff wasn't going to go after this gal or her family if she posts his shit back up on Instagram. And the sheriff refused to do it. Now, see, that is, that is something that a a jury or a judge is going to look at and they're going to say, well, this guy isn't going, this gal isn't going for damages. This is, this is something real. This is something serious. So they file the lawsuit. When they file the lawsuit again, they're not shooting for damages. They ask for nominal damages. Nominal damages might be a dollar. It might be 20 bucks. It might be 200 bucks. They ask for other, uh, other, uh, damages as you know, the court deems just, uh, but that's going to be like attorney's fees and things like that. The bulk of what they're asking for is injunctive and declaratory relief. They're asking that the court hold that what the sheriff did, did in fact violate this gal's rights. And that he be basically uh, restrained from doing that shit again. So that if she does post up some other things about her experience with the virus, then then she's not going to risk going to jail over it or having her family go to jail for it, which is some serious bullshit. Now, I just watched the brand new Earl audit 
Uh, it's a new one. I mean, he's been posting repeats now for months. So it's a new one. I figured, I figured, you know, I, I talked about him before. He, I always said he was a good auditor. I figured I'd watch him and I'd see how good of an auditor is. And boy, it's just nothing. I don't know if my standards have changed or if his abilities have changed or what. But he's standing out of a outside of a refinery and he films it from multiple entrances. So you know this motherfucker spent all day there trying to get a reaction. And the best thing he gets, the 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 big story, the scoop, the the crescendo is some fat slob of a security guard walking out and telling him that it's against a lot of film there. And that's it. That's the end of it. Nothing else happens. She goes back in to talk to someone who's smarter and more in charge. And that's it. She doesn't come back. It's done. Case closed. Problem solved. And then, and then this stupid fuck, excuse me. And then Earl at the end of his video says, well, apparently the supervisor knows the law better than she does because he didn't come out to talk to me and they didn't call the police. So I moved on. Well, you know what? It's pretty obvious, Earl. It is absolutely clear as day that your only point in doing that was to get a reaction and to get the police out there. That's it. I mean, there is, from your actions, from what you were doing, there is no other, you're, you're trying to foment people to get upset over some fat security guard who didn't know her asshole from her elbow. Nobody likes security guards. Nobody likes security guards. Security guards don't like security guards. And it wasn't even a violation of your First Amendment because she's not an agent of the government. She's not acting in under color of law for the government. I mean, it's just stupid. The difference between the difference between what these so-called activists do and what actually and truly gets results and fights true tyranny, real tyranny. I mean, it's just night and day. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful sunny day.